Some people, <laughs> some people will go to great lengths to get their hands on the latest beauty trends and treatments, but in this next story, a woman's desire for beauty, it was taken to a completely different level. Watch this, this woman broke into her local med spa with a power saw, why? For Botox! You're watching, pulls up in her Mercedes Benz, tries unsuccessfully to open the door, she then returns to the car, grabs a battery powered saw, cuts into the wow. clinic's front door, and then police say she still hasn't been found, and again, this was all for Botox. Wow. She, wanted that, she wanted that Botox fix pretty badly. I mean, she looks like a soccer mom. She could be on she an does. episode of Soccer Moms Gone driving Wild. That, driving that Mercedes soccer mom for sure. <laughs> right. Wait, was well, that your clinic? <laughs> no. Drew, are you missing some <laughs> Botox? I've been there. Botox I have, have, I have, you? I have, I have had... Botox bandits. I've had really? people that I've treated and like said, so, so, yeah, I'm gonna go to the back and then Botox and dash. They'll take the they, syringe. They'll well, take no, the they run out in. the front door without paying. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I've, I've had that. And I've had a breast bandit who wrote a bad check and she's got beautiful breasts out there. And you and can't take them back. I can't get them back and you I can't, can't find her. So you, I but learned have you ever had anyone, if you're in the office, have you ever had anyone pilfer some Little bottles of injectables well, or I'm Botox, sure where they're they're sitting samples. there and you turn, and then well, all of a sudden they're gone. Let, right. let, let, let's put it in perspective. Some people can be very compulsive about their about their looks. I mean, they mm -hmm. want. Maybe she had a big event, whatever, a hot date, who knows? But she did not want to have that wrinkle or that line, whatever. So she had to have that Botox. She also took fillers, so she did a little shopping. She saw some skincare products and took, took those. This is full of white like, collar. She was like a kid in a candy store. And she's rolling in in the benzo. I mean, she looked like this a soccer This is shocking. Mom. So let's get down to what's going on legally here. Attorney Sarah Azari joins us to weigh in. <laughs> Have you ever seen a case like this? I mean, obviously a lot of larceny out there, but for for something like Botox and fillers? It, it look, look, as a woman in her 40s, I get the despair, but it's not a defense to the crime of burglary and larceny, which is what she's committed here. She's taken a saw to get into this med spa or whatever it was um, with the intent to steal. So that's a burglary. It's commercial okay. burglary. And, and then while in there, she has stolen a, approximately $1,000 worth of Botox. So she's facing, if she's convicted of both of these charges, she's facing up to 10 years in prison under wow. Texas law. Wow. On the larceny, the misdemeanor, the theft, she's facing uh, a, up to a $4,000 fine. And for the burglary, she's facing up to a $10,000 fine. And at the end of the day, um, she has to pay restitution. So she has to pay not only for the $1,000 of Botox, but for the damage she caused the door, the window, however she broke into this place. It's unbelievable, right? Um, and, and now the clinic is saying, kind of like, wait a second, she's been here before, she's stolen before, approximately $50,000. So now- Whoa. With, with Maybe Mars more than City, one location. Yeah, yeah. and so, so with, with the crime of theft, uh, the more you steal, the more the penalties are. So it's based on the dollar amount. So if she really took $50,000 worth of products, probably some Restylane and some Juvederm or whatever, then she's facing up to $10,000 dollars in a fine and up to 10 years in prison. Does it matter counselor? what you does it matter what you steal? Meaning Botox versus hypothetically speaking if someone steals an opioid or something like that. Doesn't matter what you steal. Now, when you get into the opioids, there's some drug implications that, that are as far as the crime. Substances. Right, as far as the crime, the crime. Of theft, it's based on the value of the merchandise taken. So it's so, because medical Products are a little different because a lot of medical products, and particularly pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. you need a prescription for them. So you're stealing something that is, it's not like stealing a car, it's which you could- It's an illegal substance that you're stealing. Right. So, is that, yeah. so yeah. I'm curious how that- physicians, I mean, I know it's Botox and, I don't want to say just Botox and fillers, but it's only available but, to but, licensed and physicians. And also, also to There's her defense, if, you know, if she stole something that she was in need of, you know, like she was in pain and she needed the opioids, or you know, she was yeah. starving and she stole a piece of pizza. That's a different story, right? I can, I can but, get on board with the pizza, well, no, but if you, you know, have pain, I, you can I, go to the I, emergency I, room. I've, don't steal pizza. Just Sa don't steal. Sarah, yeah. I've